of this are affected to become a Miss World? I think it's, yes, or Miss Universe. I think it's like that I... What is the difference between Miss World and Miss Universe? One is uh, Miss World is uh, English, is from London, and uh, until a few years ago, they all, they, the contest was made in London, in the Royal Albert Hall, that round theater, and uh, Miss Universe, uh, it changed every year the country. Mm -hmm. And now I think Miss World is also changing some other countries, but mm -hmm. it was like, I don't know, 50, 48 years in the same place. What did you feel? Sorry? Yeah. What did you feel? When all of a sudden that you I was right, that I was you were nominated that I was going. <laughs> what did you feel? I felt uh, emotion. I cry. I felt uh, I didn't have so much time because it was alive. So one hour, you know, when you are in the camera and TV studio with it goes just like that, and uh, so I felt a lot of emotion. And I can say something for my ego. Can I be uh, so selfish? You can say anything. You Thank want. you. Uh, I knew a few years later that in my, mm, when I became Miss World, it was, how do you say, unanime, you, unanimous? Unanimous. Yes, yeah. every, is the every was, jury. was the only time. It was the only time in, in, the, the, history. Miss World, in the history of Miss World election <laughs> yes. that yes. the jury chose one person 100% yes. unanimously. Yes. I didn't know until three years ago. Huh? So I said to myself, because it was uh, in an investigation, uh, how do you say, uh, in a magazine. So I said, oh, then I sometimes I felt so like, uh, not so pretty, not so, I felt so, even though being Miss World, I felt like disappointed with myself, even though I look great. So I said, you see, when you're young, you don't know what you are really. I think we never know really what we are. I think we should teach our children to feel good with ourselves always and be thank thank thankful for what we are. Be thankful for, for what we are and what gifts we got from God. Yes. We're going to take a break. Okay. Masih bersama dengan Silvana Suarez. Anda masih bersama dengan Program Impact. Masih bersama saya dengan Peter Gonta. Kita akan kembali bersama Anda sesudah pesan-pesan berikut ini. Lihat berapa bunga tabungan Anda. Di Batara Prima, kami beri Anda bunga lebih. Masih kurang? Kami tambahkan bonus bunga 1,5% setiap 2 bulan. Gimana? Lancar. Kemarin, Cai. Masih kurang juga? Kami beri Anda hadiah langsung. Batara Prima, prima dalam bonus dan bunga. Masih kurang juga? Kami tunggu Anda di Bank BTN. Keselarasan karya musik butuh improvisasi tepat dan kreatif. Bisnis Indonesia, padat inspirasi, mendukung improvisasi bisnis Anda. Mainkan harmoni bersama kami, ciptakan sukses baru bisnis Anda. Bisnis Indonesia, referensi bisnis terpercaya. Masih bersama dengan Impact, masih bersama dengan saya Peter Gonta. Satu kehormatan untuk berbicara, berbincang meskipun tahun 1978. Miss World dari Argentina, Silvana Suarez. <laughs> Silvana, you won, you left London, you came back, you went back to Argentina. With the thousands, many people at the airport waiting for you. What did you feel? I stay uh, abroad 10 years, but uh, after winning the contest for Christmas and New Year's, I went back and uh, in the airport it was uh, thousands of people. Uh, I went back to Cordoba and my mother and I, I wanted to be the normal girl, huh? but uh, it was Your life changed. No, completely. We couldn't walk in the streets. You're like, uh, I don't know, if Brad Pitt goes to Buenos Aires, I think people are going to do quite the same. Mm -hmm. 
And I was, you know, from Cordoba, so and it I was go a to very Argentina, thing. Well, there will be a thousand people. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, you you cannot become Miss World, eh? I Should be no, Mister. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you came back. Uh, all of a sudden, thousands of people. It changed your life. Did you all of a sudden get a lot of people that say, "Hey, I want to marry you"? Yeah. I still do. I I think I I I get into the type of uh, getting married until <laughs> today. Yes. Until today. Yes. You still have people come up to you. Yes, sure. And this Stefan Atia must be a real lucky man. <laughs> no, I'm the lucky. One. I think. Uh, lucky. Well, I don't believe in luck. I told you, but uh, yeah, because I think you're lucky uh, too to meet him. Of oh, of course, definitely. I felt uh, very. I. Now I feel that my life has a it's deeper changed. purpose. It has, uh, it's very uh, sad. We can be with many parents. My children have their own life, and it's good, and they're going to have their own life. And uh, I didn't have them to, to have uh, one more responsibility. So you had a very rich husband. Money doesn't mean much. Uh, Does it? He's much more powerful than rich. He's rich, but if you compare it with... Uh, the richest people in the world now is nothing to do with that and he's not the richest man in Argentina but he's very powerful and power sometimes uh, there are powerful people that have a lot of connections that they don't have so much money just uh, a good way of living and no he's uh, he's okay but he does has you know a lot he, of power does you know you're gonna get married no no are you gonna tell him yeah sure I will mm -hmm. after are you going to tell your children you're going to get married? They already talk about uh, his son as a brother. Really? When when my brother today my I son mean, called your, me. Your next your, your future husband Stevan he has a he, he has, has a, a son, son of twelve. Yeah. And uh, he they talk to each other. N no, but they already said my brother is coming. Oh, I have a brother and a sister in Argentina. I think I I said to Stefan today. I think. I am surprised, you know, because my, my son is very special and sons with a mother, imagine, like daughters with a father, you know, because I think you have uh, two, no? I have uh, two children. Okay, so you know and I their relationship. I have four grandchildren. Oh, that's nice. I have four children now with my, with my in uh, you know, children-in-law, which sure. I consider my own children too. Of course, yeah. But, Silvana, yes. you're going to go to Bali. Yes. You're going to get married in Bali. Yeah. <laughs> Why Bali? Bali, because... Um, we both love that place. Uh, it means a lot to him. I think he had uh, sad times in Bali too. And I think uh, he had uh, great times in Bali. And me too, both. Uh, so Where are you going to get married, uh, on the beach? No, uh, he arranged everything for his because he's very good for that. And uh, so he, he only told me that he's in a temple. So I cannot tell you details because well, I don't know. In a temple. Yes. A Balinese temple. Yes. Hindu style. I guess so. With uh, wow. With all the clothes and. Wow. I don't want to think because I get nervous. <laughs> I get nervous. Right, right. When is this? This, this is, is Monday. 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 So next week you're gonna get married in Bali. Yes. And I was told that your future husband has a little place, a little big place somewhere else in Indonesia. Lombok. In Lombok, you know, that he has, I don't know if it is his place or it is a place that is, you know. He uh, says his place with three houses. Right. As I don't know, I'm gonna see that place tomorrow. Tomorrow maybe he cut it, you know, from a magazine, a travel magazine, and he said, you know, in the PC, <laughs> the notebook, this is my I think talking to him before the interview, <laughs> I think he's not I lying. Know, no? uh, he's not lying, but no. <laughs> you know, he is a, he is a foreigner. Yeah, uh, you know, having uh, you know, foreigners have a lot of land in the country, in Bali, in Lombok, and so on. Uh, in